What's up, everybody, and welcome back to React Dandy. Tonight we're on episode 16 and 17 of Fate of the Arrow. Um, so, what happened last time? Boom. This is last episode. This is my beautiful Iskandar on his mighty steed, off to do mighty deeds. Basically, rest in peace, Caster. Um, good job, Saber, for getting the killing blow on that. You know, have fun getting commanded an extra time in the future, because that's the uh, that's the buff we got from that. Um, we had a very nice conversation here about Saber, because, you know, everybody want a piece of the Saber pie. Well, I guess Iskandar doesn't. Iskandar pities the Saber Pie. Gilgamesh wa wants a piece of the Saber Pie, right? And then um, the most... Well, two other important things to remember is Lancer broke one of his spears to release Saber's like curse on our arm, which is really big of a deal, right? I think... Because at the end, the end of episode credits or like the after credits made me think that they were going to fight again, that Lancer and Saber were going to go at it again. And if he just broke his spear, like Saber's just going to win. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what... Like, so I feel like he's already going to get hoed now. And then it's like... I mean, Archibald's already out of the picture. It's like the the woman, his wife, is literally like... I don't know what's going to happen there. We're, we're just going to have to find out Um, on this episode, happily enough. And then the other big thing is... um, Poor Korea literally got burned alive, thrown off a roof... Or like fell off a rooftop, burned alive, got completely roasted and toasted by Tokiomi. And then um, got saved miraculously um after completely like jobbing and failing beyond like anything that i've ever seen before i mean i i feel bad for the guy because he was so ready to square up but he literally just went bug 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 did nothing and then got lit on fire so it's just like i'm just i don't even know what to do about that you gotta send berserker in to do your dirty work bro command spell hey berserker kill tokiomi like that's your only move at this point because obviously you, you don't got it by yourself. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I thought the cockroaches would help. Apparently they didn't do enough. Um, but then homeboy um, Kire, Kire came in and saved him. Which is crazy because Kire is finally uh, you know seeking his own pleasure. Instead of just being a, a nice church pawn. So yeah. That's basically where we're at. I, uh, yeah. That's basically where we're at. Ryanosuke, Caster, both dead. Um, Everybody teamed up. What's going to happen next? That's a great question. I see we kind of just jump into it. Um, episode 16. See what happens. The End of Honor. This one's titled. Well, that's not good. Um, I don't think that's good for Lancer. I feel like Lancer's in a bit, a bit of a pickle right now. But, yeah. I think I also just saw Archibald in his wheelchair in the first frame here. So, let's... I don't know. Uh, Freaking... Archibald's not having a good day. Let's just see what happens in a 3, a 2, a 1. Bang! The me... Oh, my goodness. It's playing... It's playing the wrong one. All right. Fix it. Sorry. Let me just restart. Let me just restart. I'm sorry. I hate doing fake starts with y'all because I know y'all are getting as ready as I am. Episode 16. Let's get going again. In a three, a uh, two, in a one. Bang. All right. Where are you? There's, okay, he's at the church. Oh my goodness. His voice is still annoying. Sorry. Why are you here? Oh, what'd you request? Regarding the reward offered for the defeat of Castor. Isn't it just Sabres? Because she got the big hit at the end? I'm a by Saber, I mean Emiya, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what, what, what leg he even has to stand on. I mean... It, we do know that the church is a bit biased, so I don't exactly trust them to, like, be fair, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Bro, everybody walking past Archibald is just rubbing it in so hard. It's just sad. <laughs> rip, rip, Castor and Ryanosuke. Rest in peace. Love them both. Rip his spear. Rip Lancer's spear. Also rip that. A lot of rips. A lot of rips in this OP, bro. Oh man, and I completely, dude. That subplot. What is? The, what's gonna happen there, bro? With Edie and Emiya and um the other girl's name. Let me. What's her name? 
the uh uh Maya, 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 Maya. Maya Emiya Eerie, bro. That triple like love triangle subplot. Very I mean, dude, how much does Eerie really care? I mean, she's literally a um homunculus. So like low key. What if you just say like, ah, oh, you're a homunculus, just suck it up. I don't know, like not that that's like a good, but it might work. Alright, let's just see what happens. Oh, wait, no. Wait, do you get it? I thought... Ah! Oh, her arm! What the f... Wait, we just started the episode. <laughs> Speak of, speaking of Maya, oh my... Oh, because it has the spells in it. Dude, she's tripping. Wait, it's actually already over. We, we, we already destroyed her. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay. What? Well, are you gonna shoot her hand? Dude, she covered her hurt. That's crazy. She was like, I don't want the blood splatter on me. No press, no press. Dude. What is already going on? But you did it anyways. Oh, but it feels good, doesn't it? A little bit of thrill, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, an important role, but so did, like, Waver and, uh, you know. He pretty much just snapped his thing, right? Like, I mean, that, uh. You gotta ho hook up homie Iskandar, bro. He literally put him in a reality bubble. Dude. Their team is falling apart. Their team is completely falling apart. Lancer's weakened. She lost her arm. Archibald's yammering. He's, he's literally citing paperwork, bro. Okay, he's getting one, one spell. That keeps him in the fight. Yo. We're gonna entire ritual part of it. Sheesh. Okay, I mean that keeps, that keeps him in the fight. But, like, barely. I mean, he's literally wheelchair-bound. Homegirl's, like, iced. They have one command spell. To oh! What is happening in this episode? Did you just shoot him as a... <laughs> what is happening? I mean, good move, but, like, he's <laughs> so hoed. Lancer just found it. Dude, did they kidnap her? Or did they just let her go, bro? This... What is happening? <laughs> bro was busy. Oh. 
Oh, true. And Archibald can't because his mana's all screwed up. Well, probably can't. Dude, what is happening in this episode? Like, we just got here, man. Oh, now we're gonna, like, kind of like his, ba like, pretty boy backstory type business. Yeah, yeah, they're talking about his pretty boy backstory. Oh my goodness. It's a repeat. And now he's feeling like, bro, that's like the worst thing you could say, Lancer. He feels so ashamed, bro. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Archibald is just taking out all his frustration on him right now. Are you gonna... What do you mean? You're not about to use it. He's just holding over him. Yeah, okay. There's someone here? Oh my goodness, someone's here. And they're in a car. <laughs> Saber just drove up. <laughs> That's so crazy, bro. <laughs> Saber just drove up in a car. That's so funny. Lancer's just standing there. Are they about a duel, bro? Archibald's over. I don't think she's been, Saber's been told. She's part of the same team, but she's not part of the same information. Neither of them, you yeah. know. That's all freaking Emiya and Maya. Which is so crazy, too. Yo, she's so tired. Oh, she wants to fight. She said, let's square up. Oh, and she's in her battle gear. She really comes back and is like, thanks for healing me. All right, battle time. <laughs> uh. Aw, that's so sweet. Bro's literally, like, getting harassed by his master, so that's so, like, extra sweet. Dude, Archibald, are you, like, wheeling around in the building? He's not even here. Now oh, here it goes. I mean, she just wins this, right? There's no way- she can't lose twice when he's, like, down a weapon, bro. Though I- Is this the one that doesn't pierce through armor? Yeah, this one doesn't pierce through armor, right? Because the other one was able to. That was, like, the entire point. <gasps> oh, that's kind of a good move. Wait. Okay, never mind. I run it back. No, I run it back. Good move, Saber. I take it back. I can respect that. No, I can respect that. That's a really good move. She's like being honorable. I was good line. I was like good. I was like making fun of her a little bit. Nah, she's 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 making a good move here. I appreciate that, Saber. 
Oh, shit. Aww. Bro, it's such good energy, bro. I'm so sad that Lancer's gonna die here, bro. <laughs> You're gonna have to use your command spell, brother. What is that? We're, we're getting attacked. There's a bomb. There's a grenade. He Archibald, you're over. It's a bullet shell. B bullet casing. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's even scarier. Bro, Emiya's a different kind of creature, bro. He's actually a different kind of creature. What? What is that? Is it a resignation form? What is this? That's crazy. An enchantment, yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you gonna make- what are you gonna do? Make him your little puppet? Affected party Emiya. Okay, so he's forbidden to harm them too. So that's like the that's the carrot. Even in death is crazy. Even in death is absurd. Oh well, what's written? Wait, we didn't get to see it. It's over. Yeah, it's GG. It was GG, bro. It's been GG, bro. It's already gone. Dang, wait. Wait, Lance are kind of still making moves. I'm not gonna lie. To be fair, Saber did launch the nuke a minute ago, you know, so. Whoa, what just happened? What is going on? Whoa. Did he have to use the command spell to get him to kill himself? Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't even finish their duel. Saber is not gonna like that. Saber's really not gonna like that. Dude, Lancer, I'm so sorry. You deserve so much better than this. You were literally so sick. Dude, Saber's gonna get so mad. This is getting crazy. <laughs> no, bro. Not like this. Actually, not like this. Don't just fucking walk away. And yeah, and someone else does it. Maya, yeah. Well, I, I was thinking that. Like, could Maya do it still? But she just did. So that's fine. All right, rip both of y'all. Get destroyed. Because I, I was thinking, is it kill them or allow them to come to harm I, I didn't remember if the allow them to come to harm part was in there or not but yeah okay well good job you got them all three holy hell emia 
I can't hurt you. <laughs> save her. Save her. She finished him off. She's gonna get... She's gonna hate him so much. She's gonna be so mad. Dude, I'm actually on her side this time. Eerie, how do you feel, bro? Ends justify the means, that's what he would say. Dude, I think I'm gonna throw up. What is going on? Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. This was going to happen with Gilgamesh. Probably. Thank you, Eerie, bro. Wait. I feel like my brain's completely 180'd, bro. He doesn't give it. He doesn't care. That's even- that was crazy what he just said. That was crazy. I mean, like, I hear him. I do hear him, but, like, you're telling this to Saber, bro? She's Saber. Like you're, you're like condemning her entire like thing. It already does though, low key. Yeah, yeah, good line. That's what I was thinking. Like, it already is hell. Yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, you're pulling me back, bro. Dude, I can't believe Lancer's dead. How am I even... How are we still talking? Just a crime we call victory. Good line. I mean, spit. But yeah, you're be you are you are treating Saber so poorly. But okay. You don't drive away with Maya now. Are you are you actually insane? You can't drive away with. Good read. I think that's... And then you were disappointed and you fell into despair. Oh, she got him. Yeah, he's given up on that. On that idea. The one that she literally is. She lives that idea. Oh my god, dude. I, I mean, I... I don't really care about these two dying. Lancer went out so horribly, bro. And then he drives away and Eerie, bro, is like... Bro, Saber and Eerie get together. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness, what happened to now? <laughs> He's driving away with his woman and his wife is dying. 
Dude. <laughs> was that the- that episode was crazy. That was the craziest thing I've ever watched. They just kept going. It just kept going. Like, church guy dead. Lancer stabs himself. Gaze conflict. Contract. Don't care. Shoot you still. Because, dude, I was literally thinking when he was yapping, like, oh, what if Maya just kills him? Like, like does he have to, like, pretend... Or, like, does he have to, like, not command her? I was thinking, like, maybe he could have commanded her before he signed the contract. And then he... Because, like, you know, I was, like, trying to turn through to my head. And then they just started lighting him up. Like, I was still thinking, man. I, I hadn't gotten that far ahead to even, like, process. I was still processing the potential of them getting gunned down while the bullets were hitting them. They just... Everything went so fast. And it was, like, such a pure moment where, like, Saber and Lancer were able to fight, and they both wanted that. They were both there for it, bro. And then it was interrupted by him killing himself? What? Archibald got tricked, too, bro. Archibald should not have signed that. That was dumb. That was dumb. Because if there was a way for him to... I mean, he was not in a good state of mind. He had a gun to his girl's head, his fiance's head. So, like, I don't blame him, but... Like, the the contract, if it's, that is, like, if somebody else can kill you, it's still not a good contract. I don't even want to hear the next thing, bro. What happened? What just happened? They, like, <laughs> you know what we just saw? We just saw Emiya systematically, like, not, not even kill, but, like, deconstruct two people. Three people, including Lancer. I'll count Lancer as a person, I don't care. Right? We saw him, like, with Maya cut off her hand to make the situation dire. Archibald kills the guy, which is a crazy thing that's going to have consequences that we're not ready for at all. And then this poor thing where Lancer just gets... Lancer got hoed so bad, bro. Oh my goodness. They literally were like, this show's actually cooking, dude. <laughs> what is happening? They were so happy. They were so happy together. Did, what do you say? Like, this is, like, the only, like, good thing that's happened to me in, like, the last while. What do you say? Like, something about how... I don't even know. I'm glad to have met you. Oh, that's so sweet. And then he gets... And then he stabs himself. And it's so sad. I can't do it. What the? What happened, man? Because <sighs> neither of them got at all what they would have, what they wanted, bro. They just wanted to to do their battle with honor, which is like all they care about. That's just so dark, bro. There's spit all over my keyboard. What is going on? Yeah, what was the? Can I? What was? The, what was said about the? Um, like I won't hurt you. Was that it? Okay, yeah. Kuritsugu will be forever forbidden from harming or intending to harm. So, that's... I think that's where I was like... That's that that's that legal lingo, but bro. Intending to harm. If he tells... So, yeah, I think... I think... I think once they signed it, he couldn't even tell Maya to kill him. Because then he would be intending to harm them through Maya. Well, that's not really what they said, though. I'm kind of, like, yapping. Because they did say, like... Well, I personally, the contract forbids me to do so. I cannot kill you, not personally anyway. So I guess, yeah, but the intending to harm part of that fragment made me think that, okay, Maya can't kill these people, which I was thinking about. I was like trying to figure it out in my stupid brain. And then they just got lit up, bro. Oh my goodness. I don't want to see Lancer's face right now. But yeah, they said, they said, they were talking about the gays again. And I was thinking like, how, how, how strong is this thing, bro? Like, and, and I was running through it. And it literally it just didn't matter. I can't kill either of you. Let me smoke my cig. Oh yeah, we're having such a good time. Ba 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 ba. I mean, both of y'all kind of were eat like I were not on. I was not on either of your sides. So like, it is what it is. But the just the sheer like the sheer systematic systematic like brutality of it. That was, dude, this, this episode was like, this is the episode I was like expecting with the promise of the, sh with the premise of the show, bro, where shit just gets crazy and people start dying. 
right? This is what I was ready for. Like, the, the philosophical stuff I wasn't ready for, which is why I, I, part of why I loved it so much. It was like, oh, you're really cooking. Like, I love hearing about, like, these mindsets and stuff and, like, these different approaches and, like, these ideas of what it is to be a hero and a king and all that shit. I love all that. But this type of just, like, the stakes are crazy, commanded to kill yourself, that's that hype stuff that I was waiting for from the first few episodes I was thinking about. Oh, poor Saber, bro. Oh my goodness, wait, I'm actually, I'm, I'm starting to really like Saber's character. It's starting to happen. It's finally starting to happen. She's coming around for me, bro. Dude, his voice actor went off for this. This, this was so bad. You'd crush the only wish I hold in my heart, bro. He just wanted to battle with Saber. That's all they've wanted. I wanted them to battle. I wanted them to fight. I wanted that. I wanted that. And Emiya wouldn't let me. Dude, his eyes. I can't do it, bro. It's Saber, like... His left arm goes limp. I can't do it. This dude, that is some that is some dialogue, bro. That like this this death monologue is so good. I feel like I'm still in shock. Let my blood taint your dreams, let the grail be cursed. What do you say? Let the grail be cursed. Damn. Bro, no wonder y'all been feeding for this episode. Wait, I'm sorry it took me 10 days to watch this. Dude, Lancer, I'm so sorry. You deserve so much better. You really did. I'm so sorry, my beloved. Because it's so good for multiple reasons, bro. It's good. Let me, like, process this. That's so good because it's Lancer who everyone loves. I think everybody really liked, like, like, the audience is meant to like Lancer because Lancer's goaded and he's cool. We get his backstory and he just gets stepped on so hard. And so it's like, we want to see him come back. And then he gets to kind of come back a little bit with Saber. So we're like on the upswing, our guard is lowered. And then they just beat us over the head, right? That's all really good. The crazy, I think what's so good extra though, is that like Saber, it's Saber's watching this. Saber's a witness to the this like horrible scene and knows that her and we know that her master carried this out. Right? Dude, his spear, look at his spear. It splinters and the top half falls off because while it's disintegrating. It doesn't just disintegrate in midair. It still is being bound by gravity and it like the top half like snaps off, bro. Like you oh my goodness. Like so it's as as crazy as this was seeing that Saber is standing right there, and then you're not even given the time to breathe because I'm, I'm still thinking about Saber, and then my mind's like, the gaze, like, what's going on? And then they die. And then they're like, please kill us, and Emilia just mocks him a little bit and says, can't do it, brother. And I appreciate Saber for mercy killing him. Listen, I think, I, I think everyone deserves a mercy kill. You know what I mean? Like, Archibald sucks. I hate Archibald. But I think when you, like, I think if you are to kill someone, it's taking out the trash and not stepping on it. So I appreciate her giving him the mercy kill, right? Don't just let the guy suffer, you know what I mean? Even if he's a monster, he's still a human. He's a human monster. So you treat him with a little bit of humanity. And then she just spits, bro. But then he spits... Dude, what a goaded episode. This episode was crazy. I was expecting like a calm episode, a little, like, like a, a little, not calm, but I was expecting them two to duel and that, and it being like, oh, and then they, Lancer loses and then Saber beats him and it's like pretty cool and whatever, because we just had a huge climax with the, um, with the tentacle monster and Caster dying. So it's like, I wasn't expecting it to keep getting crazy. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Look how happy he looks. They're like so happy, dude. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> right here. 
Oh, I just want to hold him. He's my boy. I love him. And then two minutes later, this happens. <laughs> All right, let's look at their dialogue. Let's look at their dialogue. We need to lock in. Um, that's why it's called the end of honor, bro. The title is crazy in retrospect. Um, okay. Eerie, eerie, good eerie moves. Eerie, good eerie moves. I appreciate you being like you owe it to Saber because Emiya, you do. You do owe it to Saber. I understand what you're doing, and I don't even disagree with it. That's the craziest thing. I don't disagree with what he did. It was smart. It was ruthless. It was cunning. It was the best move, right? When it comes to eliminating this threat, it was the best move. I can accept that, okay? I can accept war crimes, okay? <laughs> no, but the... So I can... I Your moves I'm fine with, mostly, they're really dangerous though the problem is i just i know every time he's doing shit like this i know that saber isn't gonna like it and saber is so important you know it's literally your servant man so oh my goodness could you imagine bro if he commands saber to do something dishonorable that's like that's crazy he could command saber to be like execute the child and she would have to right the, like, potential for drama there is terrifying, and knowing him, he would. I'm scared of him now. I'm terrified of Emiya. And Emiya's scared of freaking Kire. And Kire is talking to Bugman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> but yeah, this, like... Oh, and then speak to Saber, not me. Good line. That's that, like emotional intelligence, bro. I appreciate that. But yeah. Ooh, 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 bro. Honor and glory, there's no point in speaking to a killer who takes pride in such things. He admonishes her as a killer and then insults her chivalry straight up to her face. Knights cannot save the world. They call certain methods of fighting good and others evil, acting if there was some nobility to the battlefield. Such illusions perpetuated by heroes throughout history have led countless young men to their bloody deaths, all for the sake of this valor and glory. Like, is he wrong? Is Emmy a wrong? I don't think he's wrong. And it hurts me. I think he's right. And that's the horror of war. War is hell on earth. I just, I just agree with that, okay? Um, she says, otherwise every war would bring hell to this world. And I, I said it, and then he said it too. I, I forget exactly what I said. I think I said like, isn't it already there? Is it not already there? I don't know. I said something that was basically being like, I mean, it kind of already is hell. And then he said it. He think, She thinks the battlefield is better than hell. What a joke. It's hell itself. There's no hope on the battlefield. So, like, the thing is, I agree with him, right? Young men and women. Young people. Because that's the crazy thing, bro. Even because, like, I, he's saying have led countless young men to their bloody deaths, right? Which is absolutely true. Which is absolutely true, especially because most soldiers are men, right? But it's like, even war is, like, there's so many innocent people, right? Like, children, mothers, right? Elderly, like, even fathers, whatever. All these, all these people that are innocent... Or, and the crazy thing is, even the people in war kind of feel innocent to me, bro. This is just crap. I can't take this right now, bro. <sighs> Dude, how are you supposed to deal with this? Because it's like, yeah, okay. Let me just, let me just say some things. Emiya's right. I think Emiya's absolutely correct. Is Saber wrong? Right? Even the taking of a life as a human act must have laws and ideals. It's such a, it's just, there's two, it's just two opposite positions. He's a realist. She's an idealist. But realism without ideals is really depressing. And idealism without realism is like impotent. Right? So I think you need both of these things. Am I, oh, is that just fence sitting? Am I just fence sitting? Cause I like both of them. Because he's right, 
war is hell and so if you have a way to buy, stop war which he seems to have an idea for with the uh, the the grail then then that's going to be worth it right there's no hope on the battlefield it has nothing but unspeakable despair just a crime we call victory paid for by the pain of the defeated great line there wow this is a this is a line that you would I would see in quotes on the freaking easy bib or whatever What's the freaking, what are those websites that have all the quotes of them? It's a quote website. Forget it. I would see this on a wall, right? Just a crime we call victory paid for by the pain of the defeated. A hundred percent. And then he says that we haven't advanced beyond the stone age, which is kind of true. I mean, as much as we step forward, we also step back. I kind of like, I mean, this is a fun question, right? Has, this is a great question. Has humanity prospered at all after the stone age, you know? How have we actually improved, you know? Like, we've... Oh, our culture. Oh, our technology. Atom bomb. Firebombing. Uh, the concentration camps. Many genocides. Rwandan genocide. That was a pretty interpersonal one. You know, machetes, right? Like, what have we really gotten better at, right? <sighs> So I kind of agree, I kind of agree with him in a lot of ways, right? Like his, the hopeless, realistic bend that he has, I cannot disagree with. Um, the crazy thing is that he's started to, he's condemning the dazzling people, right? Or the dazzling hero that's blinded people with their legends, right? He's condemning that, right? He's blaming them for why humanity hasn't advanced. So he's blaming Saber. He says, you are part of the problem. It is people like you that try to rally the people behind honor and glory and all these things that have kind of in a way worshipped bloodshed, right? You have given reason to bloodshed. You have given, you have tried to make it human or whatever, not understanding that bloodshed is evil and cannot be made that in such a way, right? Is your hatred for her spirits the reason why you force Saber to endure such humiliation? Of course not. I don't allow private feelings to interfere. I will win the Holy Grail and save the world. I'm simply waging the battle using the most appropriate methods. Righteousness cannot save the world. I care nothing for it. Uh, like, that's true, though. Righteousness can't save the world. But, like, can you say... But, well, but can you save the world without righteousness? I don't... I don't know, man. If you do evil out of a hatred for evil, that rage and hate will merely birth new conflict. If you do evil out of a hatred for evil, you will birth new conflict. I mean, it's the it's the classic. It's a classic, right? Um, look into the abyss and don't let it taint you, right? He or when you when you mean to fight monsters, be careful not to become a monster yourself, right? Both of those quotes, I kind of butchered both of them, but I mean, both of those quotes, right? He is literally he is he is. He spits in the face of honor, spits in the face of glory, spits in the face of all these things because he seeks to save the world and he doesn't want to let any of that get in his way, which is fair. And I can't, I can't really blame him for that. Right. But you, we have to wonder, like, is he actually making things better? What is he actually going to do with the grail? I mean, I don't like, I, I, I kind of trust him. I trust him to do well, but, like, to mean well, at least. I think he means well. His intentions are pure. And I do think he suffers because of them, right? Shout out the OP where he's, like, crying to, to Eerie. You know, he's, like, cuddled up on her. So, like, yeah. Oh, the, and then, but Saber, dude, it's crazy. I was literally, he spat and he spat and he spat. And I thought to myself, is Saber really about to job to another, like, position? Like, a dialogue this position. Is she really about to get, get like, Iskondard again? Where she just gets bodied. But she kind of came back. She actually kind of came back here. So I, like, I'm glad. Good move, Saber. I don't know what betrayed you and caused you to fall into such despair in the past, but your rage and sorrow are found only in those who once sought justice. In youth, deep down, you must have wanted to become its champion of justice. You believed in here to save the world. You desired it more than anyone. I think she's got it. I think she actually nailed it on the head. And that's why, bro, he probably feels this way because he feels betrayed. I think he feels betrayed by the world, bro. He feels betrayed by justice. He feels betrayed by, by hope. And so he's gotten rid of all of that, but he still seeks to change it and make it better. He's just gotten rid of all the glory. He's gotten all, rid of all the pretty parts, right? Because they failed him in some way. Which is like, I, I, he's, he's, oh, dude, he's not wrong, bro. He's not wrong. He's absolutely not wrong. But, like, 
I just, I, I just, I, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. I will end this ceaseless cycle. The grill will make that possible. It will be the last blood humanity will ever shed. Even if that means bearing all the world's evil, I don't care. If I, if it will save the world, I'll do it gladly. <sighs> what an episode, bro. I'm freaking lost. If it will save the world, I'll do it gladly. That's what I mean. Like, I do, like, I, if, I, w I do, if I had the grail, would I give it to him? I think he, I think I kind of would, right? Like, I think he does, he does these things, but he's not doing this for fun. He's doing this to save the world. He's doing this to improve the world, right? I think it's just, but what, and then am I weak because I don't like the way he's doing it? If I, if I don't, right? If, if I look at, at his actions and I, and I scoff and I spurn and I, and I cough at him and I spit at it, like, am I just not willing to do what needs be done? That's kind of what it feels like if I were to feel that way. That's what's keeping me on his side, bro. Where it's, how, how could I not be? I think it's just, I think it's, I think what worries me most is just that it's, it's not fair to Saber. But fair doesn't matter to him, bro. Hmm. It's, dude, it's the age-old question. It's the age-old question between abstract concepts, ideals, and realism, right? How many people would you sacrifice for truth? How many people would you sacrifice for honor? How many people would you sacrifice for honesty, for goodwill, for happiness, right? Like, how many people would you sacrifice for so many of these things? And Saber wouldn't, Saber wouldn't sacrifice people for, like... For or she would set she would prioritize honor, bro. She wouldn't sacrifice people if it betrayed her honor, right? But he but he, but, but he would. He would. Emio would, right? Um he would because he he's not he's not restrained by anything, right? But it like begs the question like should we like maybe we should be restrained. Maybe we need those restraints. Which is kind of what Saber's saying about like it we need to stop war from becoming hell. Even the taking of a life as a human act must have laws and ideals. Like, this is a good line. It really is a good line. I mean, think like an execution or like, um, like, like, if you were to execute somebody with a government, you know, you'd want it to be as quick and painless as possible. You know what I mean? Or else it's just torture. Else it's inhumane. That's like such a concept. Um, but it kind of avoids the reality that there are a lot of botched executions, you know, where like... Oh, lethal injection, but they die slowly and painfully. I mean, it's happened before, right? So even the attempts to have laws and ideals have at times prolonged suffering and created new suffering, which is the opposite of its intention. And so do we do, do we just cut them all out? Because if anything, actually, he does have an ideal, bro. Emiya does have an ideal. To save the world. A better world. Betterment of the world. That's an ideal, Right? That's what he pursues. That's what he wishes for. He wishes for a world without bloodshed, it seems. That's like a law he wishes to impose. Um, he's just, he's not scared of any means when it comes to justifying that end. Which is kind of fine, too. But, man. Are you really gonna, like, let one person have that much power, bro? In, like, carrying it out? You know? Because the nice thing about, like, what Saber's saying about must-have laws and ideals is that it, if if you believe in that and you hold yourself to that then you you have a way to avoid like believing in yourself so much that you hurt people like that you cause great problems because there's i think a lot of horrible things throughout history have started with the i'm right i'm doing the right thing murder 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 right um and i could throw examples out of freaking every orifice in my body but i don't even think i need to because i think it's just like who who really thinks they're the bad guy you know what I mean? It's one of those. And so if you have the, if you have laws and ideals, if you try to keep yourself to a code, then that stops you from believing yourself so much that you become a monster. Because that is a possibility when you, when you believe in yourself that much. But it also restrains you and it makes you less powerful. And Emiya needs everything he can get for the goal he has in mind. That's just where we're at. Next episode, bro. Next episode. This show is insane. I feel, dude, how did the, the first half didn't, or the first, the first, like, ten episodes, or, like, eight episodes, did not cook nearly as hard as these last ones have. These ones have been, like, insane in the kitchen. I'm just, I'm lost, bro. Rip Lancer, bro.
I don't even know. Episode 8, 17. Let's get this going. In a 3, a 2, a 1, bang. I'm so excited to see how Saber's relationship with the with everyone continues, bro. You're about to find your dead the dead guy, bro. He smells the blood in the air. He sees the corpse, yeah. Gunned down by Archibald, who is now also gunned down. That's crazy. Dude, this shit is getting lit. Oh my goodness, this show is starting to cook. Oh, they give me the OP. Yeah, give me the OP. I need it, bro. Wait, am I falling in love with Saber? Am I in falling in love? Dude, I'm Gilgamesh. Wait, I'm Gilgameshing right now. I'm actually Gilgameshing all over the place, bro. Her despair is beautiful, is it not? I agree. I actually agree. Oh, but Emia, I can't disagree with you. But I... Like, I don't think I would trust myself to do what Emiya's doing. Right? I don't know if I would trust myself because I would... I'm, I'm, I second-guess myself too much. I check myself too much, right? Because I'm scared of, of being... I'm scared of what I could be. Right? Emiya is just grind-setting. Rest in peace, Lancer. Clap it up for Lancer. Clap it up for Lancer, bro. Goaded character. Got the worst end I've ever seen. Bro got hoed, bro. Eerie is literally turning into black pudding. I can't do this. Bro... Shout out Maya, by the way. She really a real one. By his side, bro. Um, that's him as a kid when he had hope, bro. That's when he, him as a kid when he had hope. What Saber was just talking about, bro. Ufotable. Shout out Ufotable. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> it's too late, bro. It already happened. Tokiomi, get a grip. Get a grip or else uh, Gire is about to show you his. Ba, 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 ba. You know what I mean? Gilgamesh is having a great time. <laughs> He's having so much fun. <laughs> I'm actually Gilgamesh. <laughs> How do you feel? Dude, Gilgamesh, you can't be doing that, bro. <laughs> Spit. Gilgamesh knows what happened. Well, we'll see. I don't know. What does he know? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> he showed no response. <laughs> does it really? Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I'm Gilgamesh. I'm Gilgamesh. That was kind of Freudian a little bit. You want to kill your own dad? Or, um, not Freud, freaking, um, that one guy. You know what I'm talking about. Wait, I ship these two now. What happened to me, bro? Now my brain is shipping these two. It's because they both got betrayed by Emiya, and Emiya drove off with his with his girl, bro. So I now ship these two as the two that got scorned. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet, Saber. Wait, I'm, I'm falling in love right now. I gotta reel it back, reel it back. Oh, something's already going wrong. Get the clock, get the clock, Saber. Clock, clock. <laughs> Oh, it's Maya? That's even worse! Okay. I can't, I'm actually overwhelmed. What? <laughs> I can't. Dude. He wants an alliance. I can't believe I'm falling in love with Saber, and I miss Lancer, and now Tokiomi wants an alliance. 
Oh, he he's okay. Yeah, it's a spit, spit. Yeah, you got it. But Kira is, he's he's the leash is coming off. This Grail War is messed up, bro. If there's some dude, I just give it to Waver. Who gives a shit? <laughs> just give it to Waver. <laughs> Let me cook. Let me cook. Give it to Waver. We don't know. He won't even wish for anything because he doesn't know what he wants. Who are you? Oh, wife? I'm freaking okay. Let me shut up. Oh yeah, okay, we're home. What's up, Rin? Lancer's dead and you're smiling. Think about it. Lancer died stabbing himself in the most depressing thing I've ever witnessed. And you're smiling, Rin. Do you understand what's happening? Eerie is getting cheated on. And you're smiling, Rin. Saber is in horrible straits. And you're smiling. Sorry, let me shut up. I swear I'm about it. Okay. I'm not in the mood for cutesies. Okay, that's sweet. Dude. That was sweet. Wait, her voice actor is cooked for that line. Her saying yes. That was really, that was surprisingly well said. Who was in that car? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I need to, okay. What is, oh, we're having the meeting? Okay. Gilgamesh is over there. Emmy is not here. Wow, they, they're being real. He's, he's... Well, we know that's not true. Bro better be wearing a glove. <laughs> Waver's the outsider. <laughs> I love labor. <laughs> yeah, the metals are hoed. Uh, yeah, they really messed that up. He is not very strong. I kind of agree. I honestly... If I had to bet on somebody other than Saber, I would say Waver, actually. I think Ryder is the... Other than Saber is the most likely to win this. Oh, y'all want to do a team... You want to do a last two? Bro, it's like we're playing Survivor. Yeah, so that they can focus on everyone else and then they can fight each other fair and square. Yeah. Dude, Waver and Archibald aren't going to get to have their thing. <sighs> Crazy. They're not going to let that happen. I mean, if they do, Kira is going to fight back. I mean, <laughs> he 
he, they will be our enemy. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Dude. Who's on this? Saber, okay. <laughs> Your son. <laughs> Can we finish the conversation inside? What did they say? Saber. Sorry, I was gonna say something that I shouldn't have said out loud. So I'm glad I didn't. I love you, Saber. Whoa, okay. Lock it in. Oh, Ibri. I can't, I can't take this. I need to help the sick woman. We're getting jumped. What's happening? I'm scared. No, we're fine. Oh my goodness, are you gonna die? Oh, dude, Eerie's gonna die soon. No, bro. No, bro, not Eerie. An instinct for self-preservation? Oh, she doesn't want to die. Oh, <laughs> this camp is falling apart. Oh, to heal her, right? It's kind of smart. That's actually really smart. So it's trying to keep her alive as much as possible. But only when Saber's nearby. Yeah. I'm not ready for a conversation with these two. They didn't have- I'm, I'm sure their alliance fell through. Whoa. Dude, I don't want Yuri to die. I've actually started growing more attached to her ever- Her standing up for Saber really was a big plus for me. That made me feel real good for her. He's not gonna let go. He's gonna- he's gonna take Gilgamesh. Tokiomi said bye to his daughter. That was a final that was that was his final thing he'll ever have said to Rin. Actually a death flag for him to talk to his family. Actually a massive death flag. Can't believe Eerie's gonna die. Can't believe Lancer's dead. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm actually... <laughs> what is it that... You... Bro, look at this lighting change. Whoa. Whoa. 
Would the knowledge be worth such self-destruction? Gilgamesh is... Dude, teleporting onto his shoulder is crazy. That's crazy. He's smiling a little bit. He likes that. He likes that. He's admitting it, and he's proud. I'm beckoned still. <gasps> what is going on? That's the his dad's. Yeah. He just gave him the secret code. Four twenty four. What? What's the God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. He just got all the stuff for free, bro. He got the secret code for all the co for all the commands. What does that mean? Can he use them on people? You don't have a servant. Yeah. Do you have one? Wait. No, 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 yeah, you're gonna be like, yo, let's make a move together. <laughs> I can't take more truth, bro. I can't. <laughs> yeah, to the root. Through the sacrifice of the souls? What? Oh, it's built on sacrifice. What? Wait, so... Wait, 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 wait. Oh. So to get to the grail, you need to have them kill themselves at the end? Is that what, is that my understanding that right? Because you need all seven to be sacrificed. That's a crazy revelation. Unless you had a new one to jump to. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. This freaking team up's crazy. Yo, he will suffice as a good line. He said, I like it though. He said, I like it though. He said, we can work together, bro. Where it's over for us, bro. I think, bro, Emiya knows that. I bet that you have, she, that the sacrifice part, he's got to know that. I mean, everyone probably does. Well, not, not waver. But like all the big players got to, of the three families. Dude. He's about to kill you, bro. Or poison you. Who who brought this tea? A will? You just wrote a will? May it names you as her guardian? Oh, so her guardian's gonna be the guy that killed her dad? Ah, I see. That's dark. Don't write a will. That's literally another death flag. Oh my goodness, he's so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I 
is it alcohol? It looks kind of like an alcohol shape. A new sword. You're about to taste that steel. You're about to taste that steel, Tosaka. It's over right here. Dude, no, bro, no, bro, not like this. Not the, you, here's my will, take care of my daughter. Backstab. And it's done. With his own gift, bro. With the gift he gave him. He's smiling. He likes it, bro. He likes it. I'll take care of Rin for you. Gilgamesh, did you just kick his head? Gilgamesh is real for that. I can't take this. Gilgamesh is like, oh, not your lip, bro. Let's hang out. Let's, let's make moves. Yeah. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Bro, and you have a million of these. Does he, he get, so how many command spells does he have? Like a million? Because that's really dangerous. Especially because Gilgamesh is such a freaking, he's strong, but he doesn't listen very much. So now he's like. So it's over, bro. So it's over for us. So it's over for the squad. Waver, I'm sorry, bro. I think you're just outmatched at this point. My notes for Waver. Student Omegalo, weak bloodline. Yeah, it's over. It's actually over. Um, Recipe's eerie. She's gonna die. And I actually quite like her now. She, I think she's naive and kind of dumb, but she real. And I appreciate her looking out for Saber, bro. Because even if you're like a uh, Emium, right? Like I, I like even as an even if I agree with Emia, I still respect Saber, right? That's the difference. He despises Saber and heroes and all that stuff because he's been wronged, and he doesn't believe that to be the the path to changing the world. I still respect it. I just respect it as a failed attempt, but I respect the attempt. So that's that's where we're, you know. So that's why I still love... Sa I, I'm starting to really f care about Saberu. And then poor Eerie. It's just getting hoed. In like so many ways. And Lancer's dead. And, I mean, Tokiomi, I mean, El Bozo, right? I'm fine with that. I mean, you were kind of a dick, and I, don't, I never really, you know, we saw this one coming from a mile away. They made this one abundantly clear, right? The scary part is that Homeboy is... 
so happy about it. And now with Gilgamesh, that's the scary part, right? Um, this part, I need to reread this, bro. What? So, the ritual is an attempt to open a passage to the root through the sacrifice of the souls of the seven heroic spirits. One can activate the grail by killing all seven servants. Yes, all seven. He needs them to force his servant to commit suicide once all the battles have ended. Who all knows this? I think I, I, I think only the three main families would know this, right? So I bet... I don't know if... Matao's probably know this. So Korea probably knows this. And then I don't think Waver knows this. Who's even left? We get, so much has happened. Okay, so Korea's still alive. Berserker's still in the field. That's the Matao's. Waver is the random. He's the other with Ryder. Archibald's dead. Lancer's dead. Emiya's still around with Saber. Part of one of the that's part of one of the three families, right? The Einsburns. So it's one of the three. Saber's still up. Yuri is dying. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna put dying in her notes. Dying slowly. Good. Um. The Tosaka. Tosaka's just had the guy had him die had Tokiomi die so Kyure took that spot so it's Tokiomi with Gilgamesh and then and then Rinosuke and Bluebeard are dead or and um Castor are dead so I mean yeah same difference but so it's literally Tokiomi and Gil or no 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 Kyure and Gilgamesh freaking Saber and Emiya Berserker and Korea, and then Waver and Gilgamesh, or and, and I mean um and Ryder I mean and Iskandar, you're telling me there's four, and yeah that would make sense huh because Lancer's dead, Caster's dead, and the and yeah and then the Assassin's dead, we're down to four. What happened, bro? I literally blinked and and two of them are and two more died, and a bunch of the families died. I just we like. <sighs> Oh, man, I gotta update my notes. I'm just, I'm just so Summit Archer Gilgamesh now works for Kire. Okay, that's the most important thing. So, yeah, I think everybody but Waver probably knows about the sacrifice part because they're from the three families. So I feel like they would all know. It's a bit of a maybe on the Matau on Korea because he was like, he was like only kind of part of the like he. He, he wasn't a true Matau in a sense, right? He had like abandoned and come back. So I don't know if he would have been, if he would be aware of that. But I think everybody else is minus waiver. Um, dude, I don't, there's no way. So what happens, bro, if you do the grail battle and then you don't have a command spell at the end? They just, the grail, you don't get the grail and then your spirit just disappears eventually when you die? Or like the grail ends and nobody gets it because shoot i mean somebody could just nobody could get the grail that could be an ending that that it just slips out of everyone's grasp or that maybe like maybe like saber like i mean Ryder wants the grail for himself i mean could it could a spirit get the grail and then like make a wish maybe because the magi want to need them to, ki to all die as a sacrifice which is just crazy bro <laughs> The ritual opens a passage to the root through the sacrifice of the souls of the seven heroic spirits. We're not fighting for the grail. We're sacrificing everybody for the grail. And in sacrificing, we're deciding who, and then one of us might be able to get it. That's so crazy, dude. That's dark. That's, like, they're victims, bro. The spirit summons are, like, victims. Lancer was a perfect example. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He got hoed so bad. <sighs> yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely, I'm like flatlining right now. I'm going to be on, I'm like, I don't even know. What else even happened in this episode, bro? Um, It was mostly building up to that kill, right? I mean, pretty much every scene, scene has Tokiomi in it. And then it was Eerie dying. I mean, that's kind of our two things that happened this episode. We were just building up to like this big, big turn. Um, okay, can I go back? How much, like, I, I want to, okay. 
Oh my goodness. I just looked at Lancer's death in the back. I just, he just died as a spear. I don't need to see his death in the backstory, bro. Why do I have to click on this one? No, what I'm looking for is Maya and Emiya. They were sh making out. <laughs> I know this seems like small, small potatoes in comparison to like everything else that's going on. But like, it's, it's really crazy still to me that like Eerie now I feel really bad for. I feel really bad for Eerie. Because she's just getting hoed, right? She's not only getting, like, dying, but her boy is is locking lips with the girl that she was, like, talking to and trying to, and saying, like, you won't pity me, you know, you'll actually acknowledge me. She was saying all that to Maya. That's crazy. Yeah, they made out in here, right? Kiss now, kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay, I need to see this again. Prisma Illa weighs less than that Walther, the gun. Yet, she's already eight years old. Prisma Illa weighs like nothing? Oh wait, I didn't catch that the first time. Dang, it's a homunculus moment. Eerie doesn't know about any of this, right? I know, oh my goodness, and they cut to her walking around with, what, what Saber? How much would Eerie even care? I don't even know how much of it, because she's a homunculus, and she's dying, and I don't know how, what she really thinks. She's hard to read in that way. She just kind of wants to, like, live life or whatever while she can. But it's just, there's such a insane level of, like, drama and, like, like irony or something that Maya is making out with, with homeboy, with Emiya. Wow. And then we cut to later, Eerie dying, right? Being like, oh, I'm not going to last. I'm not going to function that much longer. And she's talking to Maya, who was making out with Emiya, bro. That's just crazy. Isn't that just insane? And they're talking about him. She's like, she's like, she's like, conf like, she's like giving, like, she's like looking for comfort and like talking about her secrets of her construction with, with Maya and all these things and just being honest and real. And she's, it's just so like, this is so like, she's just getting so hoed. I just, that's all. That's all. That's all I can say on that. Um, yeah, this is, this is really made, it, the thing is, okay, we just need to beat Gilgamesh, and then, and then it's fine, right? Dude, what's gonna happen? I, <gasps> what if they kill Waver, bro? I don't know if Waver's gonna make it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, dude. I don't think Ryder and Waver are making it out of this in one piece. One of them's dead. <laughs> I mean, either they win, or Ryder's dead. And with people like Emiya, dude, it's Emiya, it's fucking, it's Emiya, Kire, and Berserker. And then there's Waver. Like, we're so dead. We're, we're screwed. We have, we'll go through, any means justify the ends, Kire, or no, any means justify the ends, Emiya. I like killing murder is fun. I'm here for the pleasure, Kire. Berserker and Bugman, and then we have Waver and Gilgamesh, or I mean, and Ryder. They're gonna die. They're not, I, I, I can't imagine they're gonna have a nice, a nice out. No one's had a nice out, except Castor and Rianosuke. Castor and Rianosuke had a nice out, and it was still death, which is amazing. What's gonna happen to Waver? Especially after all that character development with Ryder, where he was, where Ryder was spinning facts and being like, "There's still a battle you'll have." I mean, what if he doesn't get to have another his actual life battle because he gets killed by all these freaking insane, strong, genius, cunning, ruthless monsters? Yeah. Okay. New goats established. Saber. 
Waver, Iskandar. Gilgamesh is funny as a good wild card. I like Gilgamesh as a wild card character, but I don't want him to win. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Emiya, I appreciate what you're going for. It's really hard to root for you because I'm, you know what I mean? I, I don't know if I trust you with all that power, I guess. Maybe, or maybe I'm just weak. Dude, it's such a confounding position to be in. <sighs> I'm freaking lost. Chat. I say chat. There's not even a chat. I'm literally just talking to you. YouTube. I can say YouTube. YouTube slash Patreon. I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, Dude, the show is cooking. I'm glad to get back, be back into it. We're 17. There's 25 total, it seems. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Only eight more. That's crazy. Dang. Is this... Dude. This series kind of good. This, and plus, I really liked Garden of Sinners. I, I, I've watched a lot of Garden of Sinners at this point. I, I've watched eight of those, plus epilogue. Um, and so this entire, like, what, Nasu verse? Kind of, kind of a move. Kind of a move. It's starting to work for me, bro. It's starting to work for me. But we'll have to continue it next time, next Friday. Next Fate Zero Friday. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say. Or join the Discord and talk to me right there. Face your fans there, but until then, until episode 18 and so on, that's all I got for you tonight. I'll be seeing you then.